say, like they command in the old scriptures, take off your shoes, for the ground whereon you stand is sacred ground. In this old marketplace, near to this old well, because that was a well there, we live in the presence of history. A historian, English historian, who visited Dominica in 1837, Joseph Sturge, a few years after slavery had been abolished, but a system called apprenticeship had been put in its place. In other words, they said, the slave owners said they had to train the slaves to be free. So they put a system of apprenticeship, which in fact enabled the slave plantation owners to get free labor for another six years. Joseph Sturge saw the fraud in this, and he traveled around the Caribbean, the West Indies, collecting information to take back to England so that he could mount up a campaign to end the fraud and in fact to give, to set the black people free. And when he came to Dominica, he said that many of the Maroons there were about 1,500 Maroons, he thought, in the woods. And many of them, he said, were brought to Roseau. And they were butchered in cold blood. And there is a well there. And in which, though sweet of water, and in the center of the marketplace, remains unused to this day, from a belief that it is defiled with the blood of these unfortunate people. This sparked off an idea in my head, because it seemed to me that in fact if this was so, and the history confirms that these very stones that you see here are in some way sanctified by the blood of the martyrs, by the blood of the innocents, by the blood of those people who had the courage to stand up against a wrong, to stand up against slavery, to stand for it for justice, to stand for liberty, to stand for human dignity. And they paid the price. And they paid the price with their blood. And the blood was spilled on these very stones, in this very place, near this very wall, well. And that therefore is a symbolic significance in this. And we can give it meaning. We can give it a meaning that we want to give it. Not a meaning that it was given by those who oppressed us, but the meaning that we want to give it. And the meaning that we want to give it is to show that we haven't just jumped up from nowhere. We have roots, and our roots go back to a great struggle, to something that has always distinguished man from beasts, something that has always, in fact, motivated the highest qualities in the human mind, that struggle to be free, that struggle to be dignified, that struggle to realize our potential as human beings. And because of that struggle that took place here, this public square, this public place, which is a place where the exercise of the power of oppression took place, this public space, we can now by our deed and our act transform it. Transform it from a place of desolation, from a place of degradation to a place of transcendence. We can give it a meaning that can in fact confirm not the defeat of our people's attempts to get freedom, but in fact its triumph. Every country and every people require and need such 
an idea and such a space. In almost every land you will find it, where people are successful. Because it helps to bind the people together as a community. It helps to give them a sense of their history, a sense of where they've, be, they've come from, not just invented in their heads, but rooted in the story of their struggle in this very island. These people came from Africa. They suffered the unmerited wrong of this oppression. For 300 years, that is themselves, and then the descendants after them were made to toil and slave for a profit of the few under a system that even today still continues in a different form. The system of oppression, the system where some have all, or so much more than the, than the many, the system of inequality, the system of injustice. It is that system that began right here. And it is against that system that the struggle is continuing even to this day. And in fact, in being here and in coming together, we are in fact expressing something that unites us with the whole world. Because there is in fact a movement in the world that is beginning to move away from what has happened for the last 200 years with the development of the industrialization of the world, industrial revolution, in which man saw himself as, well, in which the system of production merely for profit, not production to meet human needs, not producing things in order to meet the needs of people, but producing things in order only to make profit for a few. That system of capitalism is a system which has destroyed our natural environment. And it is a system which Pope Francis, in fact, criticized in his recent encyclical, which has just came out, I think, a couple of months ago, in which he showed that, and he called upon all peoples of the world to, in fact, to consider today the danger that we as a human race are in and to begin to take steps in order to fight that danger. We, we applaud the Pope's great stand. This is a revolutionary leader, a radical leader. And he has put himself at the head of such a huge institution as the church. And if the Pope can say something like that, and in fact join all his followers all over the world to follow that great line, I think that the world, a change in the world, is beginning to take change, will begin to take place. And that change can begin right here with us. We can be part of that great change. Because in going back to find our roots, we are going back to find the secret of the way that our people have been adapted in this land. And that enabled us to survive over these long periods of time. Because when you think about it, to have survived being kidnapped in Africa as the Africans do, to have survived the Middle Passage, to have survived the torture of walking for hundreds of years under the most terrible conditions, and today to have in fact inherited the land, to become the rulers of it, that is undoubtedly a miracle. And that says a great deal about us as a people. It is that lesson that we need somehow to learn and to transmit to our youth to enable us to find new strength and new optimism and new hope for the future.